a sports fan growing up, so I was a big, big fan of uh, Danny Gallivan, who was the, the voice of the Montreal Canadiens when I was a kid growing up. I just thought he had the coolest job. So I started volunteering at uh, University Radio down in Halifax, doing a couple of shows on the, while going to school and really enjoyed that, and then just went to uh, Loyalist College in Belleville after that to take broadcast journalism. I heard of this guy that I saw an exhibit in DC with full-size sculptures of classic works of art. They take a Van Gogh and do a sculpture where you can actually go and lie down on the bed that's in the in the Van Gogh bedroom. That's part of his exhibit, so he, you're, you can become a character within the sculpture and then get someone to take a picture of you. It's kind of neat. It's gone, through, gone through a couple of sort of obsessive stages where I go five a days a week. For, yeah. yeah. It's a strange game though. You can get really obsessed with, right? Yeah, you can also, it's very mental, you can get into a, you can be playing brilliantly and then the next day you've never played in your life. You, so, something's clicked on or off in your brain and you can't seem to play anymore, so it's a fine line between good and bad shots. I went to a Dali exhibit in uh, Philadelphia two years ago, apparently one of the best in, in North America, but it was a great, it was a sort of a black tie uh, fundraiser for the young friends at the Philadelphia Art Museum. Fun way to enjoy Dali, everyone having drinks and stuff and walking around in their tuxedos and looking at Dali, it was kind of neat. Yeah.